Hello class! Tonight you guys are going to be doing some notes over the elements of fiction. We've already started talking about fiction, but this is just going to go a little bit further into it than what we've done in class. So the first thing that I want you to ask yourself is what is a protagonist? Well, pretty simple. Protagonist is going to be our main character, our hero, or our heroine of a drama or other literary, literary work. That's going to be our good guy. So in Harry Potter, it's going to be Harry. He's our good guy. He's our main character. He's the one that we're rooting for to win his problem. Well, if we have a protagonist, we're also going to have an antagonist. And an antagonist is a person who is opposed to, struggles against, or competes with the protagonist. It's their opponent. It's the bad guy. It's not always somebody who's trying to destroy the protagonist, but sometimes it's just somebody who causes more problems for them. Next, let's look at a little bit of conflict. We should know by now that conflict is the problem. It's what creates the plot. It's what makes things exciting. We want to know how it's solved. And we usually have two different kinds, internal conflict or external conflict. Internal conflict is the struggle between the character and themselves. It's like when they can't decide what the right decision is going to be, something that's right or wrong, um, or kind of working up the courage to do something. On the other hand, we have external conflict. External conflict is the struggle between a character and an outside force. It could be another character in the story. It could also be um, maybe the character versus their setting. So maybe in the story Hatchet, the boy in the story has to go up against the wilderness around him. And that would be an example of external conflict. Next that's important would be the word dialogue. When we're talking about dialogue, this would be the same in fiction, also in drama. It's just the conversation that the characters are having. It could be in a book, movie, or in a play. Another important thing for you to know about would be flashbacks. Flashbacks are a scene or part of a story that takes place earlier than the main story. Sometimes it's a memory that the character will go back to or an event that's happened. First, I'd understand this, Harry, because it's very important. Not all wizards are good. Some of them go bad. A few years ago, there was one wizard that went as bad as you can go, and his name was... His name was... And maybe she wrote it down. No, I can't spell it. All right. Voldemort. Voldemort? It was dark times, Harry, dark times. Voldemort started to gather some followers, brought them over to the dark side. Anyone that stood up him ended up dead. The old parents fought against him. But nobody lived once he decided to kill him. So in this clip, it was a flashback from Hagrid and Harry going back to Harry's childhood. It's telling us what the issue was with Voldemort and how he relates to our story. So our protagonist in this scene would be Hagrid and Harry, our antagonist would be Lord Voldemort, and then our flashback was going back in time. Art like that only comes from the Next thing we're going to look at is foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is a hint that's given beforehand that something else is going to happen later. So the author might uh, kind of give you clues that a character's going to die, they might give you clues that something really bad is going to happen, or even something really good. It's a lot of inferencing. It's usually done through the setting, the character's actions, words, or a symbol. You gotta be on the lookout for it. And it's usually given a warning, given as a warning that something bad is going to happen. Not always, but usually. And sometimes they'll make you think something else is going to happen, and then it never does, or something completely different happens. 
The next word that's important for you guys to know is theme. It's going to be the main subject or topic of a story. Another way to say theme would be the message. What, is, what does the author want you to learn after reading it? What sort of lesson? Symbolism means a person, place, or word or thing that represents something else. So for example, I've got the heart and it, the, sim, the heart can represent love. And that'll be it. So the next thing that you guys need to do after making sure that you have filled out your elements of fiction notes is to choose at least one of the links or the QR codes um, on the bottom of your notes and respond to at least one of those clips. If you'd like to do um, two or three of them, that's fine. I will give you bonus points for that. If you have any questions, send me a message on Google Classroom and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow.